Oh, thousands of people have been lining up to see the panda cub since early this morning before the zoo opened. And as of now, I would say several thousand have gone into this panda house behind me where the panda cub is living. And now the, the zoo expects so many people that they have to control the crowds. So they're limiting the total number of people who can come in to see her to 19,200 today. And many of the people here have taken time off from work, from school to come and see her. So to, 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 the, to them, this panda cub is just um, the cutest thing they've ever seen. They're the talk of, of offices, uh, of society. It's been on TV programs day in and day out. But to Beijing, of course, the panda cub is not just any panda cub. Her parents were given to Taiwan in 2008 as a sign of the warming ties between Taiwan and mainland China. In fact, relations are the best they've been since the end of the Civil War in 1949. So Beijing is hoping that her cuteness can somehow convince more Taiwanese people to have warm feelings towards mainland China. But for many people here, she's just a, a cute panda. and There's no politics involved. And to them, she's very much made in Taiwan. <laughs> Cindy, I don't want to put you on the spot, but quite often pandas' names have some sort of meaning. Does Yuan Zai mean anything? Is there a particular significance in that name? Well, I think there were a lot of hopes in Beijing that her name could have some kind of auspicious meaning for good ties between Taiwan and mainland China, and hopefully some meaning to, to sort of... Um, Give a, predict that Taiwan will eventually reunify the mainland. After all, her parents are named unification, Chuan Chuan and Yuan Yuan. When you say that together, it means unification. But her name is just called Little Yuan, which is after her mother, Yuan Yuan. So she's just known as Little Yuan. Okay. There's no politics in her name as well.